Hi there, my name is Zuza. I'm an engineer here at QuickChat AI, and today I want to introduce you to one of my favorite features that we have, human handoff. But before we jump into the tutorial, I want to set the stage a little bit and show you what problem human handoff actually addresses. The hero of today's story has an online store, MacShop, which sells Apple products. And she has a very helpful shopping assistant tirelessly catering to her online customers' needs. His name is Helpful Macintosh. Recently, when she was going through conversations between Mac and her customers, she noticed that her users frequently ask about invoices, shipment status, and refunds. Since these queries require access to internal systems, which Helpful Mac doesn't have access to, it actually can't help users with their queries. So what the owner is really looking for here is to be able to integrate Helpful Macintosh more into her existing human customer service team in a way that is not just a standalone shopping slash customer service assistant, but actually a team member, which can seamlessly hand off cases it can't handle on its own to human team members. So how can we actually achieve that with QuickChat AI? Let's move on to the tutorial. Okay, so we're here in the QuickChat AI app. So to change human handoff, we need to navigate to the settings. And within the settings, we need to scroll down to find human handoff. It's right here. Now, the first thing that we need to do is to enable human handoff, which is going to enable us to alter all of the other settings. Just quickly, before we jump into actually changing the settings, let's go through how human handoff actually works. So human handoff detects user's intent to talk to a human agent automatically. So after setting it up, it doesn't require any further action on your part to recognize the intent to transfer a user to a human agent. If you want certain keywords to always trigger human handoff, you can set a keyword triggered as well. Let's go through the settings now. So the first setting that we have is human agents availability, which means when your human agents are going to be available to hand off from your AI assistant to them. So when we enable them, we can change the working hours. Maybe let's change them from 9 to 4.30 p.m. We can change the time zone as well. Um, and next up, we can change the working days. So let's add Saturday. Let's say that we're only going to have a day off on Sundays. And now we can also change a message outside working hours, which is going to be the message that the AI is going to tell the users when the human agents are not available. Now, next up, there is a question. And this is the question which is going to be sort of the question to confirm if a user should be handed off to a human agent. Next up, we have confirmation, which is the message which is going to be sent after human handoff has been triggered. And then we have AI summary. So AI summary is sort of this way for the human agent not to have to read through the entire conversation when the conversation is being handed off to them. And it's, uh, it's something that's available in the inbox below the entire conversation. We're going to see it in a second in a little demo. And next up, we have the keyword triggers that I just mentioned. So basically here, you can input some keywords, which are always going to trigger human handoff. Again, human handoff is automatic, but if you know for sure that there are certain cases which always should trigger handoff, you can specify them here. So let's add invoice. We can add receipt. And we can, for instance, add delivery status because we always know that these are the cases that our AI assistant cannot handle. And then we can also set up some email notifications um, and that's it. So let's just uh, go over how it actually looks in practice now. All right, so we have successfully configured human handoff. So the last thing we have to do is just take it for a test drive. I know you've all been waiting for this. So basically in this screen, we can see on the left side, the user's view. And on the right side, we can see the customer support representative's view, which is the quick chat AI app. So the user says, Hey, I recently made a purchase at Mac shop and I need an invoice. And as you may recall, we have set invoice to be one of the keywords, which automatically trigger human handoff. So here we hope that the AI is going to pick up on it and trigger human handoff. We're waiting for the response. And the AI says, I understand. Would you like me to transfer you to a human assistant who can further assist you with obtaining a copy of your invoice? Then the user replies. And what happens now is that upon confirmation, the conversation gets handed off to a human. So now on the right side of the screen, we can see a notification saying want to reply in the inbox. And here, what is important is this notification. And then we can see it's the conversation number 20, which is unassigned for now. When we click on the conversation and click on the right um, top corner, take over the conversation. We are assigned to the conversation now. It changes from unassigned to a yellow, well, it's my email. 
And then the next thing is this mysterious yellow box in the bottom of the screen, which is the AI summary. So ba basically the point of the AI summary is to provide a short, concise excerpt of the entire conversation so the human agent doesn't have to go through the entire conversation of the AI assistant and the user. So here now we can see on the left screen that a human took over the conversation and the conversation continues. Hey, this is Abby, your customer support representative. I, I see you need an invoice. There is email addresses being exchanged. Um, there is an order number being exchanged. Lastly, situation gets resolved. The human assistant uh, says, hey, yes, I have sent an invoice to this email address. Um, the user confirms. And then lastly, the user says, this is everything. I don't need any further help. And we click resume the conversation in the bottom top corner of the inbox here in the conversation, which basically means we assign the conversation back to the AI. And when we click it, this green email assignment disappears and the conversation is back in the hands of the AI in case the user wants to talk more to it. Basically, that was it. So to sum up, Human Handoff ensures that your customers always receive the best support possible, whether it's an AI assistant or a human agent on the other side of the screen. We take care of the heavy lifting, detecting when to trigger Human Handoff, and we provide an easy way to take over the conversation. I really love this feature because it shows how AI can work with you and not just beside you. I hope you liked it too.